everyone welcome back to busyprogrammer.com i am tanvir and in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to create a custom color dialog using jetpack compose in your android app alert dialogs are a great way to communicate important information or ask for user input so let's dive right in the first step is to make sure you have an android project set up with an empty compose activity so if you see my screen I have a title, I have a description inside the alert dialog. The alert dialog is a rounded corner shape and it's, it also have, does have two buttons. One is a confirmation button and another one is a dismiss button. And clicking on each of the button will dismiss the alert dialog. Also just notice, if we click outside of the alert dialog, it will also dismiss the dialog itself. So we will begin with creating a compose function. And we, will, we are naming it as main content. Inside the compose function, we will take a box. So first, our goal is to create this button, which can open the alert dialog. And um, I would like to center, send, make it center of the screen. So just taking as content alignment as center. So I will create a button now. The text should be alert dialog. Let's add some modifier to align it. Naming the text as alert dialog. The example okay so now our button is ready now we will design our alert dialog so let's create a alert dialog comp compose composable we already have that defined in in compose so here we already have on dismiss request now we would like to add a shape so since it's a rounded corner so we will add a rounded corner shape and we will also require a text. The text is actually the description of the dialog. And inside a text compose, we will write the description of the dialog. Okay. Now we also need a title. The title is verification required so let's write it down okay now let's create the confirm button it's another input from parameter from alert dialog and we also have a dismiss button so now we need to enclose this with a parenthesis and same for the title okay now let's design the confirm button and also the dismiss button and we will also handle the logic to open the dialog so in order to do that we need to create a boolean since it's 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 inside a compose function we need to make it remember so that every time this compose function calls recomposition happens our function can remember this previous step of the dialog. So inside the dismiss request, we will write open dialog dot value equals false. Inside the confirmation button, we will also dismiss the dialog. So we also need to write that same. Let's design the button now. Inside the button compose, play, we are writing open dialog that value calls false. Now we will add some modifier. We'll add some padding for the confirmation button, which is the verify now button. I'm giving some padding. 
some vertical and horizontal padding. In my case, it's 5 dp and 10 dp. And I'm also adding a shape. Since it's a rounded corner button, so we need to add rounded corner shape. And I will also add color. Since it's a red color, so I need to add red. Button defaults the button colors and the content color should be colored red. That's how we can add background colors to button. Okay, now we need to add a text here, the verify now text inside this button. So taking a text composable and writing verify now and adding a font size of 12. And we will also add a modifier so to add just some padding here as well in, in inside the text. Okay, so our confirmation button is almost ready and the text color should be white for this button. Now let's do design the dismiss button, which is the not now button. So for this, we will take an outline button, not the regular button that we use for confirmation button. And in the click of the button, we are making our mutable state of the boolean as false and we are similarly we are adding some padding for modify with the modifier some horizontal and vertical padding that should just work fine now we will add border inside the border we will take a stroke of 1 dp the color of the stroke should be red okay the shape should be a rounded corner shape since it's a rounded corner button. Okay. Now inside this button, we also need a text composable to show the text not now. We need to add a modifier similarly and also we need to add a text color as well and the font size. Taking similar font size for that we which we take for the verify now button. Okay. So, both of our button design is ready, our title is there, description is also there. So now, I will write a logic to open the dialog. So if this is true, if the boolean is true, only then we will show the compose. As you see, it's not showing anything because we haven't added this compose function inside our set content. Now it should show up the button. Okay, fine. Clicking on that is not working. I think it's because we haven't implemented the button on click yet. The button for a dialog example, it has an on click. So we need to add a pass the boolean and make it true. Now it should show up the dialog. As you see, it's showing up the dialog, but the title is missing. Let's see why. Okay, so it's because we haven't added a text composable inside the title. So let's add it. Okay, now let's run again. Now as you see, both of our text are showing, but we want the title to be a bold. So let me add font weight as font weight dot bold. So now let's run the application again. As you see, now it's bold. And we also have two buttons. So there you have it. You already have learned how to create a custom alert dialog using Jetpack Compose in your Android application. You can customize these dialogs, title, message, actions to suit your app's need. F feel free to get creative with the design and functionality. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Android development tutorials. If you have any questions or need any further assistance, don't hesitate to ask in the comments below.
and happy coding.